<laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, today's upload on the channel is the final upload for the entire year. I'm not uploading another video until 2020. But as per tradition, guys, as per the past five years, the final upload on the channel is always a recap of the top 10 best moments or best polls. I've had throughout that entire year. And can I just say, 2019 was easily, by far, the best year of my entire life. And that's for two different moments. These will both be in the list, but I wouldn't just tell them, like, say them right now, because it's something that I still can't believe, and I'm still so thankful for. Um, and number one, it's walking the yellow carpet with Ryan Reynolds in Tokyo at the world premiere of Detective Pikachu. That was a moment I will never forget. I think about it every single day. And I am so grateful and thankful that even happened. Like, how does that happen? I was making videos in my bedroom about Pokemon. And to be there on that day, that was just the most incredible moment ever. And number two as well, getting invited to my first ever world championships in America on the other side of the world, this Australian kid. And then to verse the best players in PvP, the most looked up to people were Game Freak and Pokemon. Meeting everyone, that, it was just insane. Like playing Pokemon Go, playing the World Championships in front of 20,000 people. Oh, it was bananas. So those are two moments for me when I think about this year. It's like, how'd that even happen? I, I can't believe it. So this, this list this year is very, very special because to make it on the top 10 this year it had to be pretty good. Um, and yeah, I just had, it was just the most fun I had making videos, I think, as well. Like, the content I put out, I was probably the most happy with as well. So, I really hope you guys enjoy my top 10 selection of this year. If there was a moment that didn't make it on the list that you guys really like, I'd love to hear it down below. But without further ado, enjoy the top 10 best moments and best polls of 2019. Enjoy. First up here at number 10 has to be something that we got out of none other than a TCA Gaming Mystery Box. These were a huge part of 2019 and honestly we got so many bangers out of them but one thing that like always stands out in my mind was when we got none other than an uncut sheet of Pokemon cards fresh from the Pokemon card factory. Oh no! No way! I've always wanted this! I've always wanted one of these! Ho oh, oh. ho! Yo I definitely should not have this in my collection! Because this is recent. Ladies and gentlemen, we have... Oh, oh, no, you have not. An uncut sheet of Legend or Radiant Collection. This is the entire Radiant Collection that was never cut. And li literally, TCA Gaming got a hold of it and sent it in. This is an uncut sheet of Legendary Collection. This is just such an unbelievable item. It's something I've never really wanted or thought about. But now it's in my collection, it's one of my favorite ever pieces. Now, by the way, I'm gonna link all of these videos in full in the description so you can go watch them if you want to. But thank you again to TCA for making these mystery boxes such a big part of this year. Here at number nine obviously has to be a Poke Collect surprise. Now, if you don't know who Poke Collect is, it was the guy that made all the custom boost packs of like heaps of ultra rare cards. And basically, he started this year off with like a couple of cool videos sending us custom boosters and they got crazier and crazier and then they absolutely hit the fan because at the end of this year, recently, he sent me every single gold card in Tag Team All-Stars. Ready? Three, two, one! All open, let's go! Oh, what the fuck have you done? No way, no way! Oh my, holy smokes! Holy smokes, it's a whole bunch of cards individually. That's the golden Lucario Melmetal GX! Okay, let's keep going. Open this up. Um, oh, okay. I'm not ready. Okay, let's go try and do this and remain calm. This is out of the All-Star box. <gasps> he sent me every gold card, hasn't he, you crazy man? Okay, Lucario Melmetal. Zorua Greninja. Giratina. And flipping Garchomp. Then we got the Pikachu and Zekrom gold card, no way! You're a living legend! The man's a living legend! All three birds, gold card as well! Then a Mewtwo gold card, you're kidding! Then the Charizard gold card, this is the one I wanted! Now another thing that we actually pulled out of a TCA Gaming Mystery Box that not that many people remember because they still ask me about it and they're really surprised when I tell them 
but one of the mystery boxes we opened this year from TCA Gaming, we actually pulled the greatest item any Pokemon card collector would want. We got a factory sealed Minty Fresh base set booster box. No way. No flippin' way! No flippin' way! No, oh, no! Oh, TCA Gaming! What have you done? What have you done? Ladies and gentlemen watching today's YouTube video, I think TCA Gaming has sent us none other than a completely sealed base set booster box from what I can see right here. Yo, he's not kidding, fellas. Look at this. This is a literal mint condition base set booster box. Ladies and gentlemen, holy... Yo, I... Oh, this is what I wanted. Now, here at number 7 has to be when we got our first ever PSA return lot because I've never ever sent Pokemon cards off to get graded by PSA. So this was a huge moment this year where it was my first time ever doing it. And I don't think there's ever going to be an occasion that special when I got all my cards returned for the first time and me and RJ opened them all up only to find out I had a Gem Min 10 Shining Charizard in the selection. It was unbelievable and so much fun. Blish? Oh, what is it's it? Eight? An eight. It's an eight. That's eight. all right. That's Still right. I've had that in my that. collection for ages, and I did not expect absolutely amazing things. Eight out of ten on the silver. Let's keep it going. Oh, it's, no! a it's, a it's a ten! Shiny Charizard got a ten. Oh, I'm so happy. Yo, that is not a ten thousand dollar card like I know everyone who had to comment, but that is so close. Here at number 6 has to be one of the most infamous moments on the entire channel this year, but it's one that everyone remembers. It's when I lost my $7,000 mystery box. It got sent from America to Australia. It was only meant to take 4 days to arrive, but it literally went missing for 2 months. It had no update or anything. I made a video, I thought either the package has been lost, Someone took it home uh, from like, I don't know, the mail station, he got stolen, maybe the guy scammed me, I didn't know what happened. Then all of a sudden, it re like just literally reappeared, and then it got sent to me in a couple of days. And then I found it. So the whole story, this two month saga, of me losing a $7,000 package, then I finally found it and got to unbox it. Let's do it, what's in here boys? All right, a lot of newspaper. Then I can see a, um, I can see the booster box. Here we go. All right, here we go, here we go. The fossil booster box. Holy smokes. Okay, open this up. Yep, 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 we're looking good. The seal is still on there. The seal is still on there, no way. So coming in here at number five is something that you'll understand why it's where it is when we finish the video off. But it was when Pokemon sent me a letter inviting me to compete in the first ever Pokemon Go World Championship title event around the world in Washington DC, America. I'm still shook if this even happened, but yep, I flew to my first ever Worlds event after practicing Pokemon Go for a couple of weeks and uh, I got on stage in front of like, it, I don't know if it was 20,000 or 15,000 live Twitch viewers, thousands of people like in the actual audience I got on stage and I literally played Pokemon Go in front of the world it felt like and then after that I got to attend my first ever world championships and it was the best experience ever meeting all my friends meeting like all you guys as well at the event seeing everyone that was just interested in Pokemon was the most unbelievable experience ever and I still can't believe it happened so thank you again to Pokemon for making my dreams come true. Like, that was the coolest event ever. They just announced that, and now I'm going to uh, jump on stage, so they just announced everything on, and play Pokemon Go. This is so hectic, guys. Speaking of cool events and things I never thought would happen, Warner Brothers hit me up earlier this year and they said, Hey Ando, we know you're huge into Pokemon. Do you want to come attend and walk the yellow carpet at the world premiere of the Detective Pikachu movie with Ryan Reynolds? Guys, I literally flew to Tokyo. I watched the movie um, at the world premiere and I literally met Ryan flipping Reynolds. I can't believe it. That was unbelievable. Honestly, when I was watching the movie for the first time, I was like in shock. I 
uh, on the edge of my seat the whole time. I still can't believe this happened and just walking that carpet alone, I just couldn't believe that's where I was for making videos in my bedroom like six years ago. It was, oh man, I get nostalgic just thinking about it. YouTube and like everyone always wants to know like did the part the cast that actually like played the characters in the movie yeah. Yeah. did they collect Pokemon cards yeah. have they ever like collected anything yeah I collected the Pokemon cards when I was a kid I have all the original oh, generation so everyone loves those cards yeah. they're fantastic they just went back to my old school and they were just all over like the playground they, just oh, yeah. everywhere. I know. And the rappers they're worth so much money now it's crazy yeah that's yeah. what my mom told me she's like keep all your cards nice because they'll be worth money in a couple years and then she goes and throws them in the garbage bin you're like what are you doing mom? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, after that whole entire week, I know what you're thinking, Ando, oh my gosh, can it get any better? Yes it can, because I went to the Yellow Carpet world premiere of the movie, where like, I was one of the uh, few people that was chosen to do this, and I, I honestly feel so blessed it happened to me. Um, it's because of you guys, and I was really fortunate I got to take you guys with me as well, so this is the footage I managed to get, it wasn't a lot. I was just so blown away, all the fans, the paparazzi and all that, it was just the coolest experience ever. And then I know what you're thinking, Ando, it's all well and good, you got to see the movie early, you went to the world premiere, you did everything Detective Pikachu, but did you meet the man, the myth, the legend, Ryan Reynolds, the voice of Detective Pikachu? Guys, I can safely say I shook the man's hand, um, and yeah, he came in and he actually took a picture with the group that I was with, and this is the only footage I got of meeting him. I didn't even know they were taking this footage, so uh, this is just amazing to me, I still get to see it again. Now here in number 3 is probably the best pull that we got throughout the entire year. It was when I did this big search of the Rainbow Ray Charizard. I wouldn't buy it, I wouldn't do anything. I'm like, guys, we're gonna pull it out of an Unbroken Bonds boost pack. I don't care what young Jimmy says. And after, I felt like hundreds of episodes, we did it. I pulled Rainbow Rare Full Art Charizard. <sighs> breathe, Ando, breathe. I'm getting so impatient, I don't know. I just want to see, like, an, a, a Charizard, even if it's not Rainbow Rare, like, full art or alternate art. Oh, what the flip? I did it! Oh, it's back my knee! I freaking back my knee! Oh, no way! So then at number two, it was a series of unfortunate events, but basically I did a flip it or rip it and I ripped the Rainbow Ray Charizard and I felt so bad because I knew you guys were still hunting for it and I couldn't live with myself. So the Charizard that I just pulled, which was the best pull of the whole year, I thought I would give to my best buddy RJ, who was the biggest Charizard in the world fan, like he loves Charizard and he hadn't pulled the card yet, but it turned out to be one of the best moments of this year where I surprised him with the card, and he just broke down. It was unreal. So big shout outs to RJ for this moment. Well, dude, I was thinking, since we didn't get the Rainbow Ray Charizard, I had something pretty crazy happen to me, like today when I was recording, and uh, I was thinking, you guys at home already know, but I would surprise you and come over today and give you my Rainbow Rare Full Art Charizard right here. Oh, that's, the, that's a bit of paper. I would give you none other then the Rainbow Rare Full Art Charizard and Reshiram Tag Team card right here. So that's like 100% real, 100% the card. That's all yours. That's Thank like, that's from me you. to you. Cause uh, <laughs> some crazy stuff happened on the channel today. And I know how much you wanted that card. You wanted it so much, didn't you? Oh, no you cry, it's all right, dude. Thank you. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. So you're gonna take good care of the card? Yeah? <laughs> it's alright, man. So now you can put that with the other ones. Do you want to go get your other collection? Yeah? Show the rest? And coming in here at number one, the greatest pull slash the greatest flipping moment of this whole year. You probably guessed it already. But guys, we did it. This year was the year that I got put into an official TCG product. I don't know how to put this into words, I still can't. Like this year, we not only attended the World Championship Pokemon Go event, right? Invited by Pokemon, we walked the yellow carpet of the movie premiere Detective Pikachu, but this all got summed up at the end by Pokemon literally putting my photograph inside an official TCG product that's sold around the world. It is just, I, I still can't put into words like how much this means to me and like, 
The fact this all happened this year is unbelievable. But yeah, I am literally in all four of the World Championship TCG decks. But it's literally when you go to about half- there we go. Oh, no way. It's literally when you go to about halfway right here, right in the middle of the book. There I am. Like out of any photo they could have used of anyone else, they've gotten slotted me bang right there. And that's me playing the uh, Pokemon Go, yeah, final I guess. How insane is that? That's literally me inside of a book that's slotted into every single World Championship theme deck. So yeah guys, that was pretty much my top 10 best moments and best pulls of 2019. What did you guys think? Was there a card that didn't make it on the list that you're like, dude, you pulled this and it was way better? Or was there a moment where you're like, that was way cooler than anything on the list? I would love to know. Um, I personally, oh, it was a struggle getting the top 10 together. So I think there's plenty of pulls and moments that didn't make it on the list, but thank you again to every single person that likes each video that leaves a positive comment, that tweets me, comments on anything, like anyone that goes out their way to just click on the video, I am, from the bottom of my heart, just so thankful, and you helped make 2019 the best year of my life. So without further ado, let's make 2020 even better, let's go crazy, I wish you guys all a very, very happy new year, hopefully you guys have an amazing 2020 as well, and enjoy 2019, but from me, I'm Listed Leaf, you gotta keep on gaming. I'll see you next year, guys. See you then.